Uh, this is my happy dance. What? Hey guys, it's Michael Todd and welcome to the Cult of Vintage. Y'all, today we are back at a stitch in time here in Millerstown, Pennsylvania. It is three floors, basement, main floor. Why does that always happen to me? It's basement, main floor, and the third floor. So we're gonna get inside, see what we can find, vintage and antiques, of course. Uh, for resale, maybe a little bit of collecting. Who knows what we'll find. Let's not limit ourselves. We're going to get into it. Here we go. Look at those beautiful flower beds just bursting. I bet the butterflies and the bee... Oh, there's Mr. Bumblebee. Love that. It's even put up here. Look at that. Isn't that fun? What a pretty, pretty exterior. It's gotta be one of the prettiest ones. It just does. Okay, let's get down, press hard to open. Well, we have some vintage over here. This used to be exclusive to candles, so let's check it out, see if we can see anything. Um, I do see this little stretched compote here. It looks like it is probably a Fenton piece. Now that's at 22, ooh, speaker, rude. <laughs> we'll come over here. Uh, this looks imperial, yeah, imperial. Oh, you even have your little sticker. Um, 52 for the roses. These look like, uh, they have it marked as imperial. I was gonna say it was Boyd's. Boyd's does a lot of these character. 25 for the little toothache dog. Not where we need it to be. Um, oof, 75, gracious. Now I'm in love with these little eight mosser. So what do you get? Four bowls and one pitcher. Okay, 30, 60, and then you would be at 90 for the set. Hmm. So if you've been here with me before, the main floor, while it did have a little bit of vintage and there are some other vendors here that do have vendors, a lot of it is very like craft items and that's okay. Um, I will tell you this, the aroma in here is fantastic. It's, um, it's not overpowering, thankfully. Go in here and check it out. I did see some Christmas, so. Uh, blow mold is 42. He looks like he's an empire. Okay, well, kind of fooled me there. So we'll see what else we can find. A display shell, very Victorian. We love it. Let's crouch down here. Now this one is at 60. That's really not the most horrible thing ever. All of the scroll work seems to be in really good condition. Um, I don't want to lift it here. Uh, hold on a quick second. I wanted to get back here and inspect it, see how it's constructed. So we do have some flat head screws in here. I don't know that this one's actually antique. It looks a little bit more vintage, but it's still beautiful nonetheless. I didn't find anything upstairs, so let's head on downstairs to the basement and we'll see if we can find anything there. A little overview of what we've got going on. Let's dive into it. Large jacqueline and blow mold. He's at 49. A little sun faded, but actually probably one of the best prices I've seen on that particular mold. Though it is relatively common. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Some mini oil lamps here. This one's at 12. Interesting. It's got a kind of like an art deco vibe to it. Hmm. These look quite interesting. More specific, the farmer's stock book. There is some, looks like another book was stored on top and it's gotten sun damaged. $60. Um, I'm going to assume it is illustrated with a, oh, marbling. Carefully. Okay. Let's see. Chickens. It's an old one. Hmm. Sheep. Lots of sheep, rams, cows. I mean, it's cool, but I'm, 
would have liked more illustrations. Let's see what we have on the day 18 something, I bet. Okay. Um, 1884. Kennel Secrets is interesting. We do have some illustrations, steel cut, as well as photos of the various breeds. This one looks like it's a 1900s. Let's see. Oh, no, it's 1893. And the Kennel Book, Kennel Secrets, that one's at 39. There's a little glassy booth. Now, nothing's jumping out at me, so we still want to go in here for a closer inspection just to make sure we don't miss anything. I've been selling these Fenton Bears, and I love them. This one's at 12. Emerald. Kind of want more than one. Oh, here's some little Leo Wards. You see, some of these were flashed. You can see the remnants of the red on there. So at one time, it was a cardinal. But the paint has since come off. I'm not mad at whomever, you know, it probably started flaking off and they just attempted to remove the rem remainder. Ooh, I like this. Looks like it's... Um, Got another monster glass piece. I could be wrong. But the pink opalescent creamer, priced individually, twenty-three and thirty for the sugar. A little handkerchief, compote here. It's okay. Not in love. Milk glasses. Nothing super unique. This one's cute. Oh look at it. It's got a little butterfly on it. 15. It's okay. Some kitschy Christmas. That's been there for a minute. Um, Avon Reds. Yeah. I just don't see anything that's like, oh my gosh. So let's move on and see if we can find something else. And there seems to be an antique cubie if this is unlocked it is okay so we can slide this open ourselves though i'm okay let's get in here with a hand shall we oh look at how sweet okay we've got our rose o'neill with the little paper label there is 10% off in this booth, and I know that might seem a little spendy, and it is, truth be told, but I am such a sucker, especially for these OG cupies, so I am going to pick that little cutie up. Now, in the same cabinet, set there on the crazy quilt, please. We've got a little tattered teddy. He's 95. Um, I love him. He's got great personality, but spendy. What is that? University of Pennsylvania Playbill. Ooh, 59. Some Roseville, but it's priced, so let me figure out how to shut this. So we're just gonna go for ooh, the Cupid. And I guess we'll leave it at that then. Now that piece is interesting right there, that blue candy dish. It's Westmoreland. I've frankly not seen this piece before and I love the fact that it's untreated glass on the pedestal and base as well as the feel here uh, you know it's hand painted it's in Westmoreland's blue mist and only $8.99 I'm like what's wrong with that <laughs> there's our W mm, you know what for $9 I'm liking that and I think we're gonna go ahead and pick that one up over here. This could be contemporary. Ooh, it's got a pretty substantial chip. Oh, um, 95. I, mean, I guess it's technically vintage, as horrifying as that is to say. It is the truth. Um, you think we're still in the booth that had the, um, the Westmoreland, the blue compote. We're just kind of circling over here to this side. See what else we can find. Oh, look at this little sweetheart, little bohemian glass. This almost looks embossed. That's so thick. Four dollars. Gold bohemian glass. 
listen, it's not going to sell for a lot and I'm okay with it because I'm going to rescue it and get it in the hands of somebody who's going to love it and appreciate it and protect it. So we're going to pick this piece up too. We got our basket because we need a basket and this little one is going in the basket for somebody. Hmm. So we got our Westmoreland and our Bohemian. So we're going to come over here to the next booth. We've got some figurines here, all animals it looks like, but nothing really. What is this beardo? Look at this tiger. Wow. <laughs> Talk about mid-century realness. Eight dollars. Oh, it's made in China. <laughs> okay, China. Okay. Um, yeah. Pilgrim glass, bunny, boony. Look at those little feet. <laughs> not in love. I'm not like the pilgrim animals just don't do it for me. Like all due respect to anybody who loves them. They're just so not in my aesthetic. Um, okay. What do we got? Cows. Look at how sweet. Sassy Clarabelle. Anthropomorphic pineapples. This one has the price on it. Let's check this one. $8. I'm not as in love with those, though. Hmm. Sassy ducks. Sassy ducks are $4. You know what? I'll get sassy ducks and, and anthropomorphic pineapples. Okay, our next booth has a really interesting jade chip and dip set. I have never seen this piece before. Who is it? Oh, it's Mosser. Is it? No, it's Westmoreland. What is that? That's an interesting piece of jade it's not 50. A melon divided bowl. That's a big piece of jade, y'all. Oof. It's a boo bucket. It's the witch bucket. And it is the original 1986. And the best part, they have it for just a dollar. Um, no, there is no lid, but I'm not going to be fussed with it. Are these? Oh my gosh, yes it is. Look. McBoo. I don't have the light to help me here. 86 a dollar oh my gosh 1986 a dollar and the boo 86 oh geez we're gonna get them all for a dollar so I was thinking about this piece because I thought it's a big chunk of jade eight for 50 but it seems like it sells for 50 54 anyhow so they are right on point with it but I'm going to hold off on that one. I am. Some other pretty jade eye, but... I mean, that picture is 40. Oh my god, that thing is... Oh. That's pretty. Oh, you see the swirling in it? How beautiful would that be for a vase? I mean, you could use that. <sighs> I'm gonna think about that one. Here's some M.A. Hadley. Y'all know that I'm always on the hunt for the M.A. Hadley anymore. Um, we've got the pineapple sugar and creamer, and this set is only $18.50. And we do have the large horse decanter, which I am loving the subject matter on this one. However, there's a pretty substantial hairline running here on the handle. Handle, pardon me. That one's still at 85. We have some matching. Let's see if I can get this out safely. Ooh, uh, matching. So those are at twelve dollars each. It would be thirty. It looks like there's another pineapple back there, but I don't want to spend forty-two dollars on this set. I think we can keep it safe with the sugar and creamer at eighteen fifty. So I'm pleased with that find for sure. 
Okay, so I'm seeing some real Hondo in here, the bunny. You guys have really educated me on this. It's a very distinct look. They have it as possible Rio Hondo. I don't know what, oh, you know what? I wonder if this didn't hold like um, string or cotton balls. $12.99. Oh, cotton ball. <laughs> Shoot, okay. Ooh, how much is the little, these figural decanters here, prohibition time, you know, you could put your, this one's not, hey chill. This one's not too Heidi. I mean, quite frankly, this is a little scotch, so Japan. So not made during prohibition time. I think I'm going to set her right. Nope. We're not going to set her right back up there. Excuse me. Excuse me, little pig. Little precious pig. Oh, and there is this set here. I've seen this before. I absolutely adore this pattern. And it is Noritake. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's pretty. Don't know. They might be priced as a set. I don't see individual prices on there. I'm not going to dig around in there. The teacup, the teacups can be a little bit more of a dis, blah, 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 difficult sell. So we'll leave those there. Okay, let's not forget our Rio Hondo. Rio Rio Hondo, Rio Rio Hondo. Anything else in chill? Die cut Santa's. Ooh, 45. No. <laughs> um, it is, there's just stuff everywhere. It's hard to. Ooh, look at that pretty. This one looks like a Nippon. Oh gosh, oh my gosh, it just slid super fast. 15, oh that is Nippon. It's a little sloppy, so we're gonna stay away from it. Um, the Intelligent, the Dutch Huggies. I'm literally, you guys are just quite literally shopping with me. There's so much to see, it's hard to take it all in. I hope I'm not missing anything, but I think they may Hadley and our Rio Rio Hondo will be it in this booth. Basket full of treasures down here in the basement. Let's head on upstairs and see what we can find there. Up the stairs, saw the basket. I have to leave one thing in the basket because this is like a new shopping experience, even though we're still in the same mall. We're trying to avoid the curse. Yeah, we don't want the curse. All right, what do we got going on in here? Vintage Barbie vibes. Look at her and her fashions. She's at 15. Is this little Miss Skipper? Over here, yeah, it's Skipper feeling super groovy. Ooh, look at this, Superstar Barbie. Superstar face, love the, the outfit. 25 work. We've got some larger, oh, they have this Piano Baby. Left in Cupies, cuties. We got a cool, really. Ooh, look at this thing of beauty over here. Oh, it's ceramic and chipped. I think I have been duped by this particular piece in the past. Rude. What do I see? What do I see? What do you see? That's right. Let's go check out Miss Dainty over here. She's all prim and proper like. Ooh, and she, ooh, ow, girl, ow. Her bonnet. Yeesh. Oh, she's a little chippy, but she's still thriving. She's still living a good life. Don't you worry. It's okay, sister. Um, for a collector that's going to be cool with it, right on. 39 is not evil. It's not hateful. Uh, but for reselling purposes, you know. I got a little lamped when I saw that. I'm not going to lie. No, don't look ahead. That's cheating. Okay, I don't, oh, do I see over here? This is a smaller one. Paint, pretty typical. 
Oh, this one's made in Japan. Cheating on me. Nine dollars. He's fun though. I love the color. Okay, I'm. Oh, it's not the OG. Okay, we'll get it. Well, yeah. Okay, I'll get it. I picked up my basket and I started to look. Let me do it once. This vendor tries to draw me in their booth. Look at shh. Let's quietly, as to not scare the vintage away. Let's just be quiet. Oh, look at that clear dominion. No, that's Fenton Valencia in clear. these things. Keep that in mind. These Fenton pears are really just following me every which way. So let's not get too excited. You know what I mean? We're in an antique mall. And this person obviously has some good stuff. So let's just oh, look at these sweet heart salt and they're bird houses who is it you really think I can read that blue jeans <gasps> look at how sweet they're little kitschy bird houses I don't know I'm gonna think about that the pink and blue and yellow it, it is doing it for me I, I will say look at little dopey 15 or sleepy okay The Beehive Shakers. MG. Don't know. <gasps> Whoa. Are you for real? Look at Freaky. Oh my gosh. That's more than I would want to typically spend, but how? No. I can't leave those behind. Skunkies. Skunky Shakers. Those are 14. Are those, are those? Could they be? I'll take a chance at five. I'm gonna take a chance at five. That's a Jew. Shroomies, I see you peeking. Okay. Let's just be, let's just not get too excited because we don't want to scare the vintage away. Here's a pagoda satin lamp. <laughs> I'll take it for five dollars. Is there something wrong with that? Okay, we'll get that too. Five dollars. I'll take you for five dollars. Yeah, I'll take you. Is this like your sale self? We love a good sale. What else you got on sale here? Um. 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 I'm not okay. So we're good there. What is this? I just had this set. They came with an underplate. They're missing their underplate, though. What is this supposed to be? Is it bees? Bugs? Beetles? You have it as a bee. Singles. They're ready to mingles. Ooh, look at you. Oof. Oh, what a sweetheart. Is this a donkey? It is, I know who that's going to. Somebody collects donkeys out there. Um, He's four by himself. So I like this one's cute. Ooh, look at that. Oh, I wish you had your mate. What a great look. Six. Uh, that's a pretty figurine, but $6. I don't wanna spend $6 on just one. Oh my God, look at him. Four dollars. 
Hmm. He's a skunky. Okay, I'll get him. This looks like it's a rabid deer. What? No. A nun salt and pepper shaker? Because why not? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um, is this a two piece? Look at the cat coming out of the tub. Oh, shush. You shush. $10. in the bathtub how rando is that it's a pink cat in a bathtub okay we'll do it oh, what do we have over here cheeky cherub <clears throat> is that you little cheeky cherub oh my god it's... N who neo Jesus, oh my god, look at that, look at it, it's precious, let me see if there's any value on this, yeah, there is like 30 to 40 dollars and that's without the box, they go 40, 45 with the box, how are you gonna, like what, he is, look at that sweetheart, here is where we're at with it. So we've got some great Fenton milk glass with hobnail effect, pedestal swung vases. Um, we've got this one is at 60, which I'm really frankly not mad at, nor am I mad. The larger is at 60. This one is really interesting. This one's at 20. I really am quite frankly digging this squattier, but those big... Okay. So, what do I do? Oh my god. 150. <gasps> Are you for real right now? See, this one, frankly, is there something wrong with this? This is Fenton Valence Valencia. There is some rippling to the, girl, the, the grass, the glass. <gasps> That one, honey, yeah, we're gonna get it. Yes, we are. Okay, skirt. One forty, sixty. Bzz. Hmm. Frankly, like. This is like one of those things where you're like impersonal. Do we like the bigger? Do we like the smaller? I actually like the smaller one that's a little bit girthier. It just is a little bit more dramatic to me. This one's relying on the height, right? It's relying on the height, but this one, this one in the front has got more visual, overall visual appeal to me. It's Fenton. Um, I'm really digging that. So... We're gonna go ahead and get all three of those too. We do have some lucite grapes up here. I gotta tell you, these are almost reading contemporary. Or am I wrong? $24.99. There's something about. I'm unsure on that one, to be frank with you, so I'm gonna hold off on it. I am gonna hold off on it. Um, oh, this piece, I did see this one, which was quite unusual. A little pottery, strange, little bird. Is this... Tierra Roja? Galapablalos. $7.99. Something about that. Let's look him up. I'm gonna get this little weirdo. There's currently only a fish listed on eBay, but the fish is going for 30. I don't know. I love how whimsical and stylized he is. I, you know, do you wanna hang him? Do you wanna use him as a paperweight? I like how unusual he is. And he's $8, so it's not a huge risk. A little, little paint flack right there, but yeah, let's do it. 
I have to hope these are gonna be okay. There's nobody else up here, so I'm just gonna have to keep my eye open um, as we shop the rest of the mall. It's not huge, so I should be pretty safe with leaving it there, but I wanna make quick work of it, I do. Um, here we've got like some Mother Goose. Okay, today is the day of the salt and pepper shakers. I'm just inspecting, okay. Our bills are a little chippy chipped, so not bad for four for the right collector. Um, 11.99, not bad. I want them to be a little bit more unique. A little bit more unique is what we're looking for. Crafties, crafties. Stitch and time, you're just oof, killing it today. Uh -huh. Breezy. Some whales, they're having a whale of a good time. <laughs> $8. Green Vantelligen Huggies. Sweethearts. $20. Mm hmm. Those Vantelligens. Nay, nay. What you got over here? Are you got anything we're looking for? Not so much for us. Oh, check out this, the black cap, oh, 45. Look at that teapot, ooh. Oh, I love that, actually like, how much was that? Oh, 45 for the teapot, 25 for the pitcher. That's a good one. Ooh. Dang, that teapot is it, y'all. I don't know how I feel about 45. Let's see if we can get some value. Current listings of 55 and 35 so I can't be competitive in that but holy shamoli do we not love that uh, yeah our stuff is still safe so I'm gonna take this stuff we're gonna check out and I'll see you guys outside all right, guys, well, there you have today's shopping adventure here at a Stitch in Time in Millerstown, Pennsylvania. I think we can tell from today's video, if you are in the area or traveling through, make sure to stop. It is a well worth it. We found some amazing things at really good prices too, might I say. As always, down in the comments, let me know what your favorite find of the day was or the item you wished I had most picked up. Either works and you know I'd appreciate it. And until next time, remember, keep it rusty, crusty, and dusty. Bye guys.